Hi. Today we will see how you can use IC Light in animations, both with a single image and with a video. We will start with this Kajai workflow. You will find a link to this page in the description, and the credit of course goes to him and to Liasville who developed this successful tool. Let's start by understanding what we have here, and adapt it to our needs. It is very similar to the previous workplay we saw, and if you missed it you can find a link to the previous video in the description. Here we load the image, it is resized, and from here to encode, I prefer to work with a different V, so let's add it, we have a prompt, so we will write what we would like to receive, a robot in the middle of the street at night. The positive and negative prompts go through the icy light conditioning, and here we see the model of the icy light, which connects to the animated if loader, and of course there is also a context option here if we want animations longer than 16 frames. And here is all the data we enter into the sampler, amount of steps, denoise, etc. Down here there is a very interesting node in my opinion, which I am sure I will use in creating animations in the future as well and not only in the context of IC Light. This node allows you to produce and control the animation for the mask. If you click on the question mark, you can see that it is still in the working stages, and that you may encounter problems while work with it. This formula defines the position of the dot on the graph, and the beauty is that you can simply click and drag the points on the graph itself, and that's how you determine the movement of the mask. You can add points with shift or subtract points with the right mouse button when standing on the line, and this makes the work really convenient and intuitive. And if you click on the right button in the empty part, you can also load a reference image. There are quite a few settings here that you can play with, but the most important in my opinion is the points to sample, which determines the length of the animation and the sampling method. We will soon see the differences between path and time. And hence this is roughly what we already saw in the previous workflow, the mask for image and latent space. Press Q and you can already see the animation of the mask, which in the case of the IC light is actually our lighting source. Mask works between black and white. Black is defined as zero, and white is defined as one. This can be controlled with the help of this remap mask ring node. Now you can see that the mask is much darker, and so is the lighting that was added to the image. Let's try with this image. I change the path of the light so that it illuminates the face and this is the result we got. Let's try now with time instead of path in the sampling method. And to actually see where we will get the light, I press the right button and choose, display sampling points and the red points are our keyframes. As you can see, it still doesn't work smoothly, but I'm sure it will only get better in the future. And now we get the lighting only at these two points, and not along the entire path. So we saw that the animation of a single image with IC light has a lot of potential. Let's see if it is possible to relight an existing video or animation. For this we will change the workflow a bit. Instead of load image, select load video and load the desired video, to which we will add the resize. I adjust the resolution and make sure we don't ruin the aspect ratio. I move the sampling methods back to path, and we will arrange the path of the lighting. Let's not forget to also change the prompt to suit us. And before we press Q, we can match the number of frames we sample from the video to the number of frames in the animation of the mask, so simply input these two parameters and connect them to the primitive node, and press Q. And that's what we got. As you can see I made some mistakes, so I'll just fix them. The first thing is the format. Let's connect the size of the mask to the size of the video after the resize. The second thing is that the man in our video is quite static, and it is related to the load video node simply that the start frame will not be at zero. In our case we will start sampling from frame 16, and one last thing so that the transition between the frames of the video it will be smoother. You can also add a rife node before the video combine. And this is the result we got now. If we want the video a little more stable, we can add control net. I will quickly add control net with line art, and this is the result we get. It seems much more stable with the control net. And now we'll try to take care of the background. I want to get more flames and fire, and less color spots. There are quite a few options to get it, but let's check how the background option works with IC light. Let's start by loading the video. Copy the load video that is already connected with the number of frames and paste with the connections using Control plus Shift plus V, 
and load a video of Ash, which I downloaded from the excellent website pxels.com. To use the fire as a background with the IC light we need a VAEN code, which I also copy and paste, and you should remember to adjust it to the right size, and we will connect everything. And now you just have to remember to change the IC lighting condition to a model that knows how to use the background, and press Q. And this is the result of using the background option. A very interesting result and also very stable. I remind you that we are at a very low resolution, and this is a very good result in relation to the resolution. I want to check if it stays stable for a longer time, so we'll change the number of frames and press Q. As you can see, the background has a very large effect on the lighting received on the figure in the foreground. Let's try to work with another video for the background. Now that everything is connected, you can simply change the video and press Q. And that's what we got with the new video. I believe that we will see very interesting uses for this powerful tool. I see light, both in individual images and in animations, and in the upcoming videos we will definitely also check what can be done with the ability to produce keyframes from masks and comfy. So I hope you learned, and that we will meet in the next lessons, of course you are welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions and like if you liked, and most importantly, have fun! Bye!